Hello there and welcome back to my tutorial. Today we will learn about pagination and table view. So what page pagination means is whenever we reach our last cell in our table view, it automatically populates with new data. So uh, you you must have seen it in like uh, different applications. So when you are getting data from JSON, it's not like very load. Uh, it's like uh, it will distribute load, okay? And if you are not going to scroll down, we don't need the data below, right? So, okay, what's the problem? I'll just build the application. Okay, it's working. So under main.storyboard, we will first drag and drop our table view. And we will view it as iPhone X. And I will change my output to iPhone X as well. And we'll give constraints. So zero from top, zero from left, zero from right, and zero from bottom. We need the outlet and this are the some uh, this are some basic stuff of table view if you don't know table view i have a couple of videos on table view uh, i'll highly urge you to watch them so and i assume you uh, know uh, how table view works so here we need table view delegate so table view delegate and we need table view data source so table view data source and here i will assign table view with data source and delegate so delegate is equal to self and table view dot data source is equal to self as well and we need some data to populate a table view so table it will be let a uh, variable data equal to uh, just one okay so that's something cool so when we apply pagination our data will be added automatically and what's the matter so uh, this is just the error uh, that we are not like about, uh, confirming to protocol data source. So we will do it right now. So we need two methods for table view, which is number of rows in section. And another one is cell for row at index path. And for this one, we will just say return data dot count. And for the next one, we will say let cell equal to ui table view cell and this is a basic way of creating cell the most basic way of creating a cell so this will be dot default and this will be nil and cell i'll just add some spaces so cell dot text label dot text equal to string interpolation and here we will pass in data not this data we need data and we will say in index path dot row and we will just return this cell so let's run the application and see how it works so so this is our table view and it's working so we need to apply pagination to see more data so here we will say uh, we need one more uh, function from our delegate method which is will display cell and here we will add more cells okay so first we will check if index path dot row so this is the last cell we will check for that and this will be data not this one data and here we will say index path dot row minus one no uh, we just need to check for data count so it's data count minus one command z open close parenthesis and here we need more data so we will create a function for this function more data and open close parenthesis and here we will say for underscore in 0 to 10 so every time we do this we will add like 9 or 10 more data and we will just say data dot append and here we will say like data dot last and exclamation plus one and we will just reload the data after the for loop so table view dot reload data and here we need to call the function so more data and let's run the application for last time and see how it works so it works so once again, I have uh, more videos on table view, like with custom cell and everything. I'll post them in the description and also that I button on the top here. 
So do check them out. And if you have any questions, post them in comments. If you like my video, thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for future videos.